What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. This is Potty Mouth Sports, your spot for uncensored and unfiltered sports opinions. And today I'm coming with a video to talk about the injuries in the NBA. And boy, there's a fucking lot of them. So I'm going to be completely honest with you and say that I haven't watched an NBA game in probably a month and a half or two months now. As soon as LeBron got his injury, I basically checked the fuck out. Not to say that there's not that much competition in the NBA because I believe the NBA is literally the deepest in talent of all the major sports leagues. It's just when the stars continuously get injured, I just tune out. The stars around the whole league, and there is a lot of stars in the NBA, they add to the competition. They make it that much more intense, even if it's regular season, even if there's no fans. And with all of the stars basically being plagued with injuries this season, it's just I'm not as interested as I was in the past to watch it. It's literally been a fucking circus of injuries. Like, Clay Thompson, half of the Splash Brothers, still out with his injury. LeBron went down. Anthony Davis went down. Kevin Durant went down. Harden went down. Kyrie had to stay at home to deal with personal shit. Kawhi and Paul George load manage every other fucking game. LaMelo broke his fucking hand. There's so many fucking injuries in the league and so many figures and icons in the league going down. It's just really hard for me to keep track and to also just stay interested and stay in tune with the NBA. Before all of these injuries, even last year, there was tons of fucking load management. Basically, if somebody felt a fucking cramp in their leg, then they had to take the next day off. If they have back-to-back -back games, the star usually is not playing in the second game or the first game. It depends, unless you're fucking LeBron James. I, there's just so many stars with this load management shit, and it's just kind of really frustrating at this point. I think that they can just get away with it because that there's no fans in the stands or there's not as many fans in the stands. So the league has kind of been relaxed about it and the players literally just say, fuck it, like, there's no real fans to entertain here so they can just fucking watch it on TV and if I'm not on and I'm the reason that they're watching, they can just change the fucking channel. So it's just kind of a whole fucking circus of things. Listen. I know that basketball is a contact sport and it's very physically demanding. You've got players running up and down the court for an hour and a half. They're driving to the hoop. They're getting elbows and fucking hands to the face all the time. They're falling onto the floor. Basically, if a fucking center goes for a block on a guard, they're usually taking a fucking seat. But the league has to do something with the injuries and the load management bullshit in the league. I'm not trying to come across as a conspiracy theorist about injuries. Yes, injuries are real. Yes, injuries happen in basketball. Yes, it happens all the fucking time. But to the extent that the players are kind of milking it too, I don't fucking think so. Load management, oh, you're completely fine, but you tweaked your fucking leg and it's basically a back-to-back -back night and you can't play the second game. Give me a fucking break. I think the league should just say, fuck it this year. You know what? Have your heyday. Take as many days off as you fucking want. But the way that things are trending in the United States with how they're handling the COVID situation, I expect 100% capacity for the start of next season. And that means players need to get their shit together, especially when it comes to injuries. And I believe that the league should instill harsher penalties on this load management stuff and really investigate to see if these players are actually fucking injured and how long these players are injured for. I know the NBA is trying to make the regular season more competitive and more watchable with the whole play-in tournament thing, which I'm going to have a video for, by the way. But that's not really the way they should trend. They should trend on having their stars play as many fucking games as they can. I mean, these guys, some of them get paid 40 fucking million dollars a year to play basketball. Well, let me know what you think. Do you think that the injuries and the load management in the NBA is ridiculous and out of hand? Do you think that I'm a dick for saying that injured players should go out there and play? Let me know in the comments below. 
If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and support so far. And stay tuned because there might be some guests on Potty Mouse Sports coming up in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Instagram, Twitter down below in the description. Thank you all and I hope you all have a good day.